now we are discussing frequency response of rc coupled amplifier what is this frequency response response means it is an output when we give the different frequency signals as input on the x axis we are showing the different frequencies for every different frequency signal we are getting a different gain so the plot drawn between the frequency and the gain is called as frequency response for every frequency of a signal we are getting a different gain now if we see there are three regions we can classify the, this graph into three regions below 50 h we observe increment in the gain and above 20 kilo h the gain is decrementing linearly in between 50 h and 20 kilo h the graph is constant the gain is constant we are discussing why the gain is incrementing why the gain is decrementing why the gain is constant in these three different regions i am giving a number this as 1 this as 2 and this as 3 first we are discussing in the region 1 below 50 h why the gain is increasing below 50 h means at very low frequencies the reactance offered by this capacitor is very high why the reactance offered by the capacitor is very high because we know the reactance of capacitor xc is equal to 1 by j omega c so it is 1 by j 2 pi fc for high frequencies the reactance is high xc is high because the reactance is high it is allowing only a small amount of the signal to the base of the next transistor that's why the gain is very less when the frequency is being incremented when we are increasing the frequency obviously across the capacitor the reactance whatever the reactance we are taking here the reactance will be decrementing with the increment of the frequency the reactance is decrementing because there is a decrement in the reactance more signal more voltage can be observed at the base of the transistor t2 and there is a chance for high gain so that's why with the increment of the frequency the gain is also incrementing at the low frequencies at high frequencies the cc whatever we are calling as a coupling capacitor reactance at high frequencies high frequencies it is very small at high frequencies it is almost behaving like a short circuit when it is behaving like a short circuit the entire load rc the load will be the load will become parallel to the r1 or this loading effect is observed at r1 because this is short circuited wire the same vc is also given to this so the parallel combination rc and r1 is changing the biasing condition this change of the biasing condition will not make this transistor to amplify the signal properly the biasing condition is changing and the gain is decreasing the only reason for the gain decrement at the high frequencies is the loading effect this loading effect is observed because the capacitor is behaving like a short circuit with the increment of the frequency the capacitor more behaving like a short circuit and more loading effect will be observed at the resistor r1 then why the gain is constant at mid frequencies this reactance effect whatever we are calling as a high reactance effect and this loading effect these two effects are being cancelled at the mid frequencies so the rc coupled amplifier gain is constant this is the best range we can use for the amplification of the human voice the gain is constant even when a child speaks 9 kilohertz same gain uh, for the female voice same gain 6 kilohertz for the male voice 3 kilohertz same gain so in between 50 hertz and 20 kilohertz the, for the, uh, every frequency the gain offered by the rc coupled amplifier is same so it is best suitable for the frequencies in between 50 h to 20 kilo h if you want to amplify 1 mega h then do not go for the rc coupled amplifier if you want to amplify the signal below 50 h then do not go for the 
RC coupled amplifier and also we have discussed the disadvantages with the RC coupled amplifier. What is the disadvantage? The gain. It is only giving a small amount of gain. That gain may not be sufficient for all practical applications. When we require a very high amount of gain but there is no requirement of high bandwidth then we can go for the transformer coupled amplifier. That will the frequency response we will discuss later. This 70% already we discussed. This is called as if we are taking the maximum gain as M, in this the 70 percent points we are discussing here. If it is F1 and this is F2, F2 minus F1 is called as bandwidth. The bandwidth of RC coupled amplifier is high compared to the bandwidth of transformer coupled amplifier. So two advantages we have seen. First advantage, gain is constant over large range of frequencies. The bandwidth is high. So it is suitable in the range of the audio frequencies. Okay.